Why can't you assholes be on time for once, eh? Arms out, let's go. After the success of my How to Speedrun the Keo Perico guide, which at the time of making this is approaching 1.5 million views and a ton of amazing comments and feedback on that video, I've decided it needed a little update. And by little, I mean another full guide. However, since then we've had the implementation of Expanded and Enhanced on the new gen consoles and a few more little tricks and tips have been discovered. So this will serve as the next comprehensive guide on how to speedrun the Keo Perico heist from start to finish in under 30 minutes. So without further ado, let's get to it. The first thing you want to do is stock up on armor and snacks. Snacks can be found in the lower decks of your Kasatka for free. Make sure you have set your spawn location to the Kasatka. Before launching the first Gather Intel mission, you want to fast travel to Chumash and then park your submarine just on the edge of this little bit of land by the bridge. You then want to launch four sticky bombs in these locations. I must stress that this particular approach is only worth doing if you're going for an official speed run time. If not, you can skip this part of the preparation. The reason you are doing this prep is because one of the five possible locations for the Vellum to spawn during the Gather Intel mission prep is right here. You now want to register as an MC and start the Gather Intel mission. If it is LEGO Zancudo, as soon as you leave the submarine, detonate your sticky bombs and take out the remaining guard if you need to. So we are going back. Now jump into your Vellum and fly off. Holding the L2 or R2 triggers on PlayStation while tilting will help your plane climb higher. There is a set height where the Vellum will be traveling slightly faster, so staying above 1000 feet should be fine. Head towards the small body of water between the LSIA and the docks. In total, this approach should take just under 3 minutes. If you do get any of the other locations, you can go and blow up the Vellums or have a friend on hand to do it for you. Again, this is only advisable if you're planning to submit an official speed run. You can block certain locations if you know exactly where the Vellum will spawn. If you're not planning to submit an official speed run time, then you're better off just launching the Gather Intel mission and fast traveling to the Vellum location. Doing it this way, the two locations at Grapeseed will take around 5 minutes 20, while Palato Cove will take 5 minutes 30, and the furthest location at Procopio Beach will take 6 minutes and 10 seconds. Padding, spinning ahí. Why can't you assholes be on time for once, eh? Arms out, let's go. Okay, wait over there. They will bring it soon. Go on. Once you gain control of your character on the island, run towards this dirt bike. You must be careful. If guards get a good look at you while you are in the restricted area, they will know something is not right. Then take this route. Doing small wheelies will help you keep up your speed. Aim for this part of the big rock, then over the rock on the right. Through these trees, around the camera, and up the hill. If there is a guard to the left here on the road, that means that there will not be a guard near the communications tower, and the signal box will be at ground level. Otherwise, it will be in one of two places up the tower. The furthest one is at the very top. Hacking a tower is pretty simple. The X icon means times 10, the line with two slashes means times 2, and the square means times 1. So 4 times 10 is 40, 
then eight times one is eight, two times one is two equals 50. Eight times one, four times two, one times one equals 17. Once it's been hacked, bring up your phone and access the cameras. You now want to hit right three times until you get to the basement. Then hold the analog stick left to scope the target. You'll get either one of three primary targets in the glass cabinet or bearer bonds in the safe. As soon as you have scoped the target, access your pause menu and load into an invite only lobby. This is now much faster on new gen consoles. You'll load into your Kasatka at Elysian Island. When you load in, get into first person to climb the stairs faster. And start your first prep. The first prep you want to start is the fingerprint cloner. This is because the starting point for this mission is much closer to your current location. Exit the submarine and immediately blow yourself up. You'll now spawn at Allegiant Island, where you can call in your mark to oppressor. Be sure to now equip some body armor. Land outside the location and ready your assault shotgun. If we want to find out where they are, blast everyone. and then bring up your phone to call Simeon. There has to be a circuit box not too far from here. This has to be very precise and doesn't always work, but the phone calls hopefully interrupt some of Pavel's dialogue so you can access the laptop quicker. Aha, they have seen you, yes? Better not to leave witnesses this time. Find the computer. We must get inside and get the location of the archives. For the hack, just click on the red letters in turn. This need of updates. <laughs> this would never happen at Russian government troll farm. Hack complete and head out. Depending on where part 1 of this prep is, depends on where part 2 will be. Here I have added a map of the locations. Blasting one of the cameras will prevent any attackers arriving when you leave. You close now. Hit the checkpoints and make sure you are in first person, as this will accelerate your character faster when inside. The cloner will be on one of three desks in this area. Do you have the device? Get it out of there. Back in your oppressor and head towards Vespucci Beach. On your way, call in your Kasatka. This will make it respawn just off the beach. Land the Mark II gently and check in it's stable before going inside. This mission should take you approximately 4 minutes and 20 seconds. Like the fingerprint cloner, the plasma cutter prep will be at one of three locations, followed by another location. When inside the building, simply walk forward as you bring out your phone and just take a picture. Then press square on PlayStation to send it to Pavel and walk straight back out. Here is a map of all of the possible locations. When you arrive at the second location, blow everyone up, then swoop in to collect the plasma cutter. Then swoop back out again. Make sure you trigger the yellow checkpoint in order to move on. The time in between missions is a good opportunity to equip any needed body armor. If you get the furthest spawn location, it should take around 3 minutes, or just 2 minutes for a closer location. Depending on the next location will determine your next best approach. If you get the Rockford Hills location, shown here as red, you're better off grabbing the hard hat disguise. Land right next to it to trigger it, then move away, then back again to equip it faster. The reason you want to do that is because this area is very tight to manoeuvre, and blowing everyone up will only cause you to catch fire. Hunt for the blue torch in one of six toolboxes. Collect it, and then shoot off. 
If you get the blue construction site, the fastest way to approach is from the right and take out the first two guards. Then hunt for the torch on your Mark II, taking out anyone in your way. It will be a similar approach for the third possible construction site, located on top of this building. These locations shouldn't take more than 3 minutes, depending on RNG. Which weapons you choose will depend on whether you're playing on hard mode or normal mode. If it's hard mode, you'll want the aggressor loadout for the assault shotgun. If it's normal mode, you'll want the conspirator loadout for the sticky bombs. I will explain exactly why when we get to the finale. There are two types of missions for this prep. The first one takes ages and will destroy any fast times, and that is the Merryweather HQ mission. If you get this, you can fire a missile from your Kasatka and blow up the Valkyrie, failing the mission. You can then start the prep again. You can always start up a new lobby instead, but you run the risk of not having your Kasatka spawn where you want it to be. It's completely random as to what mission you will get here, with the Merryweather mission possibly appearing up to 10 times in a row. The mission you do want will either be at Vespucci, Schlongberg Sachs, or the Penrith building. Vespucci is the best location as it's closer and easier to get in and out of. Land on top of the building and enter that way. Equip a silenced weapon and headshot this guard. Then left to headshot this guard. This is then right to headshot this guard. Gun Attempt to open a gun locker. then hack the laptop. Hacking is simple, just look for two of the numbers together. Once hacked, open the gun locker and grab the guns. Okay, it's one thing to get them, it is another thing to keep them. Run out the way you came in, then click left on the D-pad to exit on the roof. Hop onto your Mark II and boost off, as you'll be attacked by two buzzards. Land back on your submarine and you'll be completed in about 2 minutes 50. Before we start, many people have their opinions on which is best out of the long fin boat and a Kasatka approach. Both have their pros and cons. In my opinion, the long fin prep is more consistent to get right and gives you the better and faster options in the finale. If you'd like to see the difference, I made a video comparing the approach possibilities and the time it takes to get into the compound for each one, so check that out if you wish. Before you start the prep, you need to ring up Simeon and request a job. Now the fun begins. We can begin at the screen whenever you are ready. What's up with you, my friend? Sure, my friend. I'll send you the details. Then start up the long fin mission. You'll have one of three potential locations as shown here. Each location has its pros and cons. Despite La Mesa being the closest to the drop-off location, it's the most awkward to navigate. With Vespucci being closest to your starting location, Vine would be the easiest to pick up the boat. After you have taken the boat. Either way, while en route, get your Phantom Wedge ready from your interactions menu. When you land, return your vehicle and call in the wedge. Remember that the wedge will spawn out of sight, usually behind you, so place yourself as necessary. Hop in and back up to the boat. After you have taken the boat. Once hooked, drive out and head to this location. Don't worry about losing the cops for now. When you've parked it here, quickly accept the job that Simeon has sent you. 
back out and hey presto, no more cops. Get back in and deliver the long fin. Deliver the boat to the docks. I have contact who can fix it and store it until we are ready. Having just delivered your long fin, if you're on new gen, then simply start up a new invite only lobby. If you're on old gen, call in your Kasaika before you deliver the boat, then return the wedge and call in your Mark II. Then fly back to the Kasaika. Those five preps are the only ones you need to do in order to start the finale, but that is if you had one of the primary targets from the glass case. If you scoped out bearer bonds instead of doing a plasma cutter prep, you'll have the safe code prep to complete instead. If that's the case, then save this one for last. The location of this mission will always be the same, and that's at a casino penthouse. If you own a penthouse here, you can access inside quicker by going in through the roof. If you don't, the mission will add around another minute on top. When inside, equip your silenced weapon and head left first to locate the two guards. If they are not there, head back until you find them. Headshot them both, then get inside with your assault shotgun. The target you're looking for could either be in the bedroom to the right, or in the office to the left, or at the end of the bar when you head far left. Kill him and take the safe code. Then blow yourself up. This will spawn you right outside, saving you at least another minute as now you don't need to escape and fight your way through more guards. From here, load into a new lobby and you're ready to start the finale. The essential steps have been taken, Captain. The operation has a green light. When in the preparation menu, just select the first options for everything, then start the heist. As soon as the cutscene ends, press the camera button twice, which is circle on PlayStation. This will allow you to start steering your boat straight away. Hold the R2 trigger to turn sharper. If you're playing on normal mode and got the conspirator loadout, ready up your sticky bomb and detonate it just before you reach the barrier on the left. This will then spawn you directly inside the compound. If you're going for the elite challenge, killing yourself here will not affect it, it will still be active. There is now a heavy reliance on RNG, and if you're lucky, one of them will drop the access codes to the door. If not, it could be one of the other six guards scattered around the compound. Get into first person and head inside. All right, side gate confirmed. If you're playing on hard mode, the fastest approach is hitting the boat jump into the compound. For this, you want to steer right, then aim for the smaller rock here. Hold back on the analog stick for maximum speed. Nailing this correctly will launch you into the compound. It does take a lot of practice, but it's well worth doing. I shall be here. I will not miss this for anything. Now in the compound grounds, you still want to go hunting for the door codes. The bad RNG possibilities here are the only drawbacks to the long fin approach. Bear in mind that this is a speedrun guide and not about maximizing the most money, but feel free to adapt your approach as you see fit. If you'd like a guide on the fastest ways to complete the Elite Challenge by filling up your secondary loot bag, I've got you covered, and I'll leave a link in the description as that is all in a separate video.
When you spawn in, head around this corner and headshot the first guard. Then hop over the wall. This guard may be carrying the gate keys. If he doesn't, then headshot the next guard around the corner. If still no luck, take out the guy walking around close by. Then the guards at the pool. And if you still don't have them, then it must be the guard up the top of the stairs. These five guards are the only ones that will ever be carrying the gate keys. Keys obtained, now head through this gate. Then start hacking. To hack the fingerprint, visualize each section as a number from 1 to 8. Another fingerprint scanner here. For each part of the fingerprint, start at the tip of the fingerprint and then click right once for part 2, click right twice for part 3, three times for part 4, and so on. Okay, standard procedure with the tool. If playing on normal mode, you'll only have the one fingerprint hack. If playing on hard mode, you'll have two. When cutting the glass, hold the trigger until the bar is almost maxed out and then release it to 10%. Do this four times and you're done. If it's the safe code, keep repeating a combination in your head so you don't forget. You want to press up for numbers 1 to 50 and down for numbers 51 to 99. Now exit out the gate the way you came in, hop this wall on the left by the beige pillar, then press right on the d-pad to exit. When outside, run straight for this guard and headshot him before stealing the bike. Now do a 180 this and, they will never know you were there. and head over this bank, being careful not to hit any of the killer bushes. Now just wheelie off the edge, hold it back on your controller to fly further. Then swim toward the trident of sea mines. As soon as the writing disappears, you have completed the Keo Perico heist. If you get good RNG, you could have this done in around three and a half minutes. With practice and the RNG god smiling down on you, you could get the whole heist done in under 30 minutes. So let me know in the comments how you get on. So if you found this video useful, please drop it a like and maybe consider subscribing for more. I'm Beats Down, and I'll see you in the next one. Go on.